shows that are going to be focused on the art of screenwriting and given it's a wine Wednesday I'm accompanied by a nice glass of red so cheers but maybe I should fix where I am first that's better so over the coming weeks I'll be sharing various insights tips and tricks all aimed at making you a more accomplished screenwriter but not to worry if you're a seasoned pro there'll be something for everybody. I'll also be having, from time to time, joining me in the studio some special guests and an on-location special coming shortly. So, on with the show. So, structure. That's the key to writing a good script. But let's start with some principles. A good film has to have a discerning meaning. So let's look at a couple of examples. The Full Monty film about a bunch of northern lads down on their luck needed to find a new avenue in life. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you watch it. The discerning meaning at the end, if you remember the scene where they stand on stage and literally drop their pants, was that in weakness you find power. They captivated the audience. So, Think about when you've got that concept for your story about the discerning meaning before you start going into writing your script. More scripts fail to get picked up by producers because they lack good structure. So if we take a script, and I have one here, this is The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel by Ol Parker, one of my favorite films. It has good characters, great plot, uh, and it has structure. Um, which means it has a beginning, a middle and an end, which is typically known in script speak as three acts. The opening act, Act 1, is where you set the scene and you have an inciting incident. So something has to happen to cause the characters to embark upon this journey uh, and in the case of the writer, throughout the rest of the script. Act 2 is where you start putting your protagonists and antagonists, i.e. your characters, through a series of challenges and obstacles of which they overcome or perhaps they don't but they're obstacles that develop them. Act 3 is the defining transitional moment when your characters realise the outcome of the situation they've just been through and it could be a positive outcome, couple falls in love, they get married, have children, live happy ever after or it could be that through trauma, uh, the particular character has changed. He has a, a greater appreciation for life. Um, whatever it may be, Act 3 is about that tipping point and obviously bringing the movie through to a close. So having that structure is important. Perhaps one way of thinking about it, and my mentor taught me this, uh, was called Cat Up a Tree. Sounds a bit bizarre, but bear with me. So you have a tree and a cat runs up and gets stuck into the branches. The owner, he or she, climbs the tree and finds themselves reaching and climbing further out into the labyrinth of branches in order to retrieve their beloved pet. Now, that's something they've never done before. They don't know how to transcend those branches and how they're gonna reach the cat. But that is act two where they are attempting things they've never done before and they succeed. They rescue the cat and obviously come back down to safety. Um, think of writing your structure in that way. Now what I do before I start actually typing is I fill in loads of these, but I also drink lots of this. So index cards are, I was joking about drinking lots of wine of course, um, but index cards are a great way of setting out your thoughts. So you can simply uh, handwrite 
scribble down anything from de describing your character, they're tall, they're thin, full face, slim face, dark hair, grey hair, no hair, uh, through to a scene. It's outdoors, it's raining, uh, thunderclouds are looming as your character paces the pavements of London. Um, and once you've written all of those cards for each act, spread them out on your table and you can move them around. You might decide that a particular cue card that you've written in Act 2 is better placed in Act 1. And it allows you to visually uh, move things around to start building your plot before you start to write your script. Now, we'll talk about in future shows, before you even write your script, is something called a film treatment. Now, some writers just hammer into writing the script from scratch. I used to be one of them. Uh, until I started writing film treatments, which help you take your index cards, build your structure from which to build your script. And trust me, it works. It just makes writing so much easier. So my top tips for this particular show, get loads of index cards, hand write them out, move them around and have fun with them. Then, and only then, once you've got the skeleton of your story with your discerning meaning, embark upon writing your script and trust me, it will be a lot better. Well, that's it for this week's show and I hope you join me again soon for more Wine Wednesdays. Until then, it's cheers from me and a recommendation airing on Netflix, Enemy at the Gates by Jean-Jacques Anou. It has everything a budding screenwriter should watch. It has good beats, great structure, great character arcs and a really good discerning meaning. See if you can spot them. Cheers. <laughs>